Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Monday, TGIM. <laughs> Hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, my weekend was pretty good. Um, so today I have a random act of kindness video I wanted to share with you today. This is actually both of these packages are from Charity and Jason. Uh, we have become very close over the last, I guess, almost two years or something like that. I don't really even know. Feels like I've known them forever. And uh, they have sent me some wax and I want to share it with you. I wanted to note, so Jason sent me some K scented melts for my birthday, which was very sweet. I have actually already added these to my basket, so the certain scents, so I will share those with you guys in my melting basket video, which I plan on doing either, uh, I'll probably do it tomorrow or Wednesday. I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, so I think this is all of it. I've had Jason's uh, package for a bit, and you guys know I took some time off, and. Some of it I wanted to warm. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. So you'll either see it in the empties or see it in my melting basket. So I'll start with uh, Jason's package to me from K first. Like I said, not all of these are in here. Some of them are in my melting basket. But anyway, the first one is tea and cakes, which is orange and almond cakes with black tea. You guys, I love tea and cakes. I'm sorry if I'm like red, I just took a shower. Um, I love tea and cakes, like basically from anyone. Just by itself is so good, so I'm thrilled to have that. I'll probably hold on to that until like spring maybe, we'll see. Okay, the next one is Old World Christmas, sweet fruit and floral cinnamon and clove. Um, fruity, Cinnamon scents to me just bring me to like Christmas, the holidays. So this is really, really good. I'm gonna be putting this in like my Christmas themed well melting basket when we get to that, which it'll be here before you know it. Okay, autumn flannel. This is vanilla, caramel, bay leaf, cashmere, leather, and smoky wood. I feel like I'm shaking, I'm sorry. Uh, this is not what I expected at all, y'all. It's so different. It's so good though. Like, I love this. It's got to be the caramel mixed in with the smokiness. Oh, it's so good. It's not what I would expect. I don't know. I think whenever I think of autumn flannel, the name, my brain goes to like flannel sheets or like a laundry scent, but clearly that isn't, but it's amazing. Okay, this is Raindrops, which is a house blend. Water drops with greenery on a light floral bouquet. I'm gonna wait for this for like spring. Oh, it's so good though. Yum. It's a light aquatic floral with green notes. It's so good. Love this. I love these scents in the springtime, like whenever it starts to rain. <laughs> it really gives a good vibe. Okay, flannel sheets, mountain air, cotton, citrus, sandalwood, and light floral. Love flannel sheets. You guys, I love flannel sheets. I, I've i had flannel sheets in a lot of blends. One of my favorite blends with flannel sheets is Ski Weekend from Brita's. Oh my gosh, it's so good. To me, flannel sheets is like the perfect... Like, I'm cleaning my house in the winter time. I know that might seem weird, but love it. Beach Nights, Bath and Body Works type, but to to toasted mallow, sea salt breeze, and chocolate graham cracker. I have never had Carla's uh, Beach Nights, and it's really good. Yum. It's a little lighter than the ones that I've smelled, but it's still really, really good. So I'm very excited to try that. I will hold on to that for like spring, summertime. Oh, y'all, I've been wanting to try this for a long time. It's Holiday Drive, which is a house blend. Fraser Fur Espresso and Bake Shop. I mean, that just sounds like a Christmas memory or something. And if I'm being honest, 
I pretty much just get the espresso in the bake shop, which is fine. But I do feel like I'm getting a little hints of like Christmas tree kind of. Um, we'll have to see how that warms, but I'm very excited about that one as well. Okay, shave and a haircut. This has been a favorite of mine for a long time. It's lemon bergamot and mint lavender and sandalwood. This is such a good, oh, it's like aftershave to me. Yeah, it's just got that crisp, clean aftershave note. I love this in the bedroom bathroom. I mean, you just can't go wrong with those types of scents. It is cologne so just a warning, but love it. Okay, Black Sea, Eucalyptus, Mentha Leaf, Citrus, Spice, and Amber. I give credit to, um, God, I keep getting wax all over me. Uh, Natalie for getting me hooked on this because I love Black Sea. It is so good. It, I've heard people like say it's masculine cologne. And I've told you guys that I don't really consider myself to be like a big masculine cologne kind of lover in wax, but I mean, I guess I am. It just depends on like what you think you smell, right? Um, it's just kind of like a crisp, heavy scent. I don't really know how to explain it. It's just, it's amazing. I love it. Um, love that scent it's so good and it's good and it's strong um the red sea which is black sea with lost cherry so this will be kind of fun to try something different and this does kind of give like an extra richness to the scent or an added richness oh my god Smells really, really good though. I'm gonna warm, I'll probably warm Black Sea first before I try this, just because I wanna see how um, they are. Um, okay. I'm trying to get the. Ooh, huh, funny. I warmed, clearly, I warmed some of this Lavender Sea. Lavender, coconut water, and creamy vanilla. This apparently is a Bath & Body Works dupe or type. I love this. Oh, it reminds me of Rose Girl's lavender coconut milk, which is so weird because I don't really feel like I liked that scent. But I'm coming around to it apparently because I really, really liked this. It was a really pretty scent um, like for bed. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get all of this out of here. Um, I'm realizing that I left some of um, some of the wax in there. I'm gonna try to get the rest of this. I'm sorry, I'm not prepared here, okay? Barbershop 1920s. Amber Musk and Bay Rum. This, to me, is uh, shaving cream, but it's so good. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. It's so good. Oh, yum. Love this. Um, love it. Okay. Zucchini bread, cinnamon, vanilla, and nutmeg. Zucchini sweet bread. So plain old zucchini bread. And it's so good, you guys. It's so good. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. I can't get enough of zucchini bread and wax, apparently. I love zucchini bread. Okay, cranberry zucchini bread. Cranberry, orange, zest, and zucchini bread. Seriously? Delicious. So good. <sighs> yeah. It's like a rich, like, bakery, cranberry, uh, zucchini bread basically okay so i am going to turn you guys over here because i'm gonna go get the wax that's left and i don't have any shorts on i'm in my underwear so i'll be right back <laughs> i hope you guys can't see me <laughs> i'll have to edit
Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. What a hot mess of a video, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna, I went ahead and pulled everything out that Jason sent me in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off what I got. This is so good, you guys. Fallen leaves, cinnamon berries, pecan, cedar wood, and green leaves. This is amazing. I can't wait to warm this. Oh, it's so good. It's just like a, it's a different kind of leaves that I'm used to. Oh. Mm. The pecan cedar wood mixed with the berries is giving a little bit of sweetness. It's amazing. I have to remember to put these aside because they're in my melting basket. Okay, Cider Lane, y'all. Who doesn't love Cider Lane? It's like one of my favorites. Pressed apple cider, vanilla bean, and spun sugar. This is so good. It's just such a classic caramel apple scent. It's got a little bit of a richness to it to me compared to like just caramel apple. I don't know, but um, I love, I love Cider Lane so much. Okay, I think this is the last one in here from Jason, which is Brew. This is a Yankee type, which I'm new here because I didn't even know this exi existed. Cedarwood, cinnamon, and patchouli. You guys, this is so unique. It's gotta be that, I don't know, like the cedarwood with like, I don't know. It's almost like pecanish, like nutty and cinnamon it's to me it's like a crisp fresh chopped piece of wood that you'd find in the fall <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but it's it's really good i feel like that's gonna be strong okay the rest of this is from charity you guys clearly she knows me because i love this scent so much destination wax moon spice cookie sugar cookies coffee and celtic moon spice she sent me a loaf this is one of my all-time favorite scents literally and i went back and forth so many times getting wanting to get this and she sent me this i'm so appreciative of you guys i mean seriously that literally made my day i was so excited i love moon spice cookie if you guys like destination wax and you like coffee scents Highly recommend Moon Spice Cookie. It's delicious. Another delicious coffee scent is Scoopable Wax Salted Caramel Coffee. Salted Caramel Blended with Coffee and Pie Crust, you guys. Hello. Oh my gosh. There's something about caramel mixed in with um, coffee. It's just, it's this is like mouth-watering coffee. Love this. Can't wait to warm that. Love it. Okay, another scoopable is from Tart Wax. Love Me Tender, Palo Santo, and Monster Cookie. So, oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm shaking. Um, I feel like I've had this before, but I can't remember how I liked it. So, I'm curious to try it again. But it smells really good. I mainly get the Monster Cookie in here which I don't feel like I remember, remember getting that last time. But it smells really good, so we'll see. I'm excited to try that as well. I feel like that's a good winter time scent. From Southbound, Coffee Shop Special, Roasted Coffee Beans, Iced Cinnamon Buns, and Vanilla Buttercream. Yum. You guys, she double bagged this. This is like a full bag. Um. Southbound, I know, does have really good coffee. <sighs> yeah, that's really good. It's like a cinnamon bakery coffee. It is like cinnamon rolls with coffee. It's delicious. Yum. It's to me, like moon spice cookie or like cinnamon coffee is like a, like a good coffee for the winter time. So... Really excited about that. Okay. I have gone through this multiple times, so <laughs> that's why I'm like, 
you know, familiar with it at this point because it all smells so good. Okay. From Britta's, this is the Exorcist plus, plus sugar cookie plus sweet and creamy. So Charity was so sweet. Um, was it last year? I think it was last year. She sent me some of the Exorcist by itself to try and it was so good. And I remember her saying that it wasn't a very popular scent maybe. Is that right? Or people people either really, really like it or they really, really don't, I guess. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it has to be. The Exorcist is Palo Santo Patchouli and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow with Sugar Cookie and Sweet and Creamy. This is so good, you guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, it makes my mouth water. It's so good. I can't wait to warm this. Um, I need to make an order with Britta's at some point. I would feel since her theme is like holiday or Halloween that she would do um, more Halloween restocks. Is that even right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just making that up. Okay, Sensationals. I've never heard of this, you guys. Farmhouse Plaid says, oh, so cozy. I don't know why I'm shaking so bad. Like, do I need to like lay down or something? <sighs> this is good. It, it It's kind of like laundry, but it's like, <sighs> it's good. It's good. I can't really explain it. It's, it's kind of heavy flannel maybe I don't know it smells really good though you guys this is hilarious so we all have a joke which <laughs> I mean it's it's not like it's not true um <laughs> marijuana y'all get what I mean this is from sassy girl aroma it's special brownies and I've never seen her do clams before I don't know if you guys can see that but it's kind of like a I don't know. It's brown. I don't know if that's just because of the scent of the name. Anyway, so the the scent notes for this. Giggle Bush, Wacky Tabacky, Stink, Mary J. Juana, Hot Fudge, and Brownie. So this is going to smell like a marijuana infused brownie, and it does. I'm going to be honest. It does, because I used to have these in high school, I'm going to be honest. <sighs> I was like a good bad boy in high school, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Like I never got caught doing any of this stuff and I still, I was, I was still a pretty good kid, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> uh, oh, I missed one from Jason. I'm sorry, Jason. Pur <laughs> this is purple sandalwood. <laughs> Cashmere, peach blossoms, lavender, and white musk. This smells similar to that purple, no, the um, the other lavender scent, Lavender Sea maybe. But it kind of has like a saltiness to it. I don't know, but it's really good. To me, Kay's uh, Lavender is so good. I'm sorry, you guys, this video is all over the place. And I feel like I'm missing some. See, this is why I need to just film the video as soon as I get them. I don't open it and I just film right away. Okay, and then she sent me some samples, which is very nice. So another Sassy Girl Aroma Wax. I believe this says one ounces on it. It's like a tiny, like, mini scent shot thing. It's Devil's Lettuce, Giggle Bush, Wacky Tabacky, Stank, and Mary J. Juana. Uh, see, okay, so I don't know if you guys remember the live, golly, that... Oh, Natalie said that she thought, uh, what was it called? Rustic Lodge, which I have yet to warm. It smelled like marijuana. And if I'm being honest, coming from somebody who smokes it on occasion, uses it on occasion, let me say that, um, it, to me, it didn't smell anything like it. This smells like it. Yeah, like straight up like high-end THC, okay? Just say, But it's good. I feel like I'm gonna like just be in the right mood to warm it, if that makes sense. But I love earthy scents like that. So she scored. <laughs> I 
Okay, from Yummer's Delight, movie and pop. And it shows popcorn and a little grape soda on here. If I'm being honest, I haven't had the best of luck with Yummer's, but I feel like these are such strong scent notes that I'll probably get good performance. And I mainly get the grape soda. And it's good though. Makes my mouth water. It kind of smells like Fanta grape or something like that, but it smells really, really good. Oh, the notes are on it. Buttered popcorn and grape soda. Pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, we'll see. I'm excited to try that. Um, I need to try more grape scents. I know I love grape granita from Scentsy, but I really haven't tried a whole lot of grape and wax. Okay, a couple of samples from Destination Wax and we're done. No, three. <laughs> Sorry, this video is so all over the place. Uh, ocean. This is fresh, salty ocean breeze with ozone. A great blender, it says. If I'm being honest, I would absolutely just warm this solo because it's really pretty. It's a very nice, fresh scent. More fresh than anything else. Um, it's really good, though. I might try that in the bathroom or something. We'll see. Um, beechwood vetiver. Driftwood, carnation... Night blooming jasmine and a bit and a bit of seaweed and eucalyptus. So I feel like I may have had this before. I know I've had this before from other vendors. And it's good. I do like it. See, another good perfect size to put in my bathroom. Last but not least, coffee hazelnut. Hazelnut coffee. Mmm. <laughs> it makes my mouth water, you guys. Um, hazelnut coffee is so good. And wax. I feel like I, I don't even know if there's one single coffee blend out there that I don't like. I don't think so. Unless it doesn't perform or something. But I swear I love coffee. I love coffee and wax. I was kind of doing it for a while too much. Like, whatever and then I so I took a break and then I got back to it and I've really been loving it like I currently have one going right now it's after five o'clock so I'm probably going to change my wax again at some point because it is starting to die down but anyways that's everything I really appreciate you guys um so much for sending these um this all this wax to me I really do mean that um my friendship with all of you is all that I need um, and I do appreciate you guys who do send me things. I want to make that clear. But yeah, um, I think that's it. I'm going to be doing a melting basket at some point. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to do it today. I probably won't do it today. I'll probably do it tomorrow or Wednesday. And then I'll probably end up filming my empties this weekend. So anyway, um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.